My name's Claire Evans and I'm the ABCD Community Builder for Horsforth. I've chosen to read to you today Love Monster and the Last Chocolate by Rachel Bright. It's a favourite book of mine and my children's that we've been reading for a number of years now. I hope you enjoy it. This monster, hello Love Monster, is just getting back from his holiday. And although it was a little bit exciting to be home, he was sad to leave his adventures behind him. But wait, what was this? A box of chocolates just sitting there, waiting to be found? Love Monster couldn't believe it. You see, everybody knows that monsters seriously love chocolate, especially this monster. His mouth started to water, just thinking about what might be inside. Perhaps there'd be a peanut butter cruncher, or even an extra fizz bang sherbet, or maybe, just maybe, a double chocolate strawberry swirl. Love Monster's absolute favourite. But then he had a thought that he just couldn't unthink. Hmm. He should probably share the chocolates with his friends. But what if there weren't enough? Or what if someone took the one he wanted the most? Or worst of all... What if the only one left for him was the coffee one? You, Everybody knows monsters hate the coffee one. Especially this monster. Yuck. Well, I'm sorry to tell you that after thinking all these thoughts, Love Monster decided it would be safer and kinder and better for everyone if he kept the chocolates just for himself. So he went into his house and so did the box of chocolates without a whisper of a word to anyone. Love Monster couldn't wait. Oh, how his mouth watered. But just as he went to lift the lid, he had a sort of queasy squeezy feeling in his heart. It was the feeling a monster gets when he knows he's about to do something he shouldn't. And before you could say, pass me the truffle surprise, he burst out of his house and ran as fast as he could to find his friends. And when he did, in a very out of breath and a bit shouty voice, he said, I got back from my holiday and I found some chocolates and I was going to keep them all to myself, but then I realised that I wanted to share them with you and I didn't even want a single one. Well, maybe one. And do you know what his friends said? Silly monster. Just open the box. To Love Monster, we missed you so much. We saved you our last chocolate, your favourite, the double chocolate strawberry swirl, because you're our favourite monster. You see, sometimes it's when you stop to think of others, you start to find out how much they think of you. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great time this week listening to all the stories and reading lots of books. Stay safe.